Fantastic. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us here for this session block on, uh, of course, AI. AI, the name of the game. We need to keep on talking about it because the impact is uh, huge, undoubted. And we're going to drill down specifically on, on network on that part. So I'm very excited about the upcoming speakers. Moto Nishihara. Uh, Moto, if I can ask you on stage, you're going to, joining me. Moto is a corporate EVP and the CTO at NEC. Um, he's responsible for everything new, essentially, for, for many, many years. Uh, also very exciting things you have done in Silicon Valley. So always at the forefront of pushing what's possible and I thinking, thinking beyond. And I know that you're going to be very exciting talking about also what can be done, how can we create a new concept of yeah. living together based mm -hmm. on a Japanese culture. So excited. <laughs> Warm welcome, Moto. Uh, stage is yours. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Yes, so you can do that. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's always allowed. Yeah, I, I wanted to be here again at the MWC 2025. And actually, last year, I did a, a presentation here. And my name is Moto Nishihara, and I'm the CTO of NEC Corporation. NEC is a global technology company founded over 100 years ago, our origins uh, in the telecommunication industry. And we also have a deep knowledge and expertise in AI technology. Today, I'd like to share with you our view of what will be happening with AI and the new requirement for networking. As you know, a lot of companies are talking about agentic AIs. We see the concept of agentic AI as key to how AI will be used in the future. NEC just released our own NEC AI agent technology in January, last month, no, two months ago. And at the core of agentic AI is NEC's generative AI technology, which we call NEC Kotomi. Since it was released in 2023, NEC Kotomi has achieved accuracy levels comparable to world-leading LLMs using very small number of parameters. It delivers at twice the speed of typical commercial LLMs and is six times faster than open-source models. Last year at MWC, as I said, I talked about the concept of an AI orchestrator which is the integration of many types of the AI to solve the specific problem. Our agentic AI is based on AI orchestration. So our agentic AI automatically performs a series of tasks. After the user defines the objective, the agentic AI automatically breaks down the objective into several tasks. Then it then creates a plan for each task execute those plans and generate output. What is the difference between an ordinary IT system and the agentic AI? Traditional IT systems are configured based on defined specification, and they perform them exactly. Their behavior is static, and the value delivered does not change. However, Agentic AI will dramatically transform IT system from static to dynamic. When business objectives change, agentic AI proactively defines a new required task and even generate software to achieve those tasks. It's very, very dynamic. This is the evolution of agentic AI in the future. Today, people think of agentic AI as a, just a tool, but in the near future, Agentic AI will become our partners. And then, eventually, they will become economic actors. We will see a time when people and AI coexist, and agentic AI companies will emerge everywhere. And individual agentic AI will take a more important role in business-to-business -business negotiations. One of the key technologies that will enable this is automatic AI negotiation. And we see the leader in this technology. Let me show two examples of automatic AI negotiation. The first example is competing bits by agent AI in supply chain management. Here is a quick video to show what I mean. The agent AI representing the purchaser request 1,000 chipsets for its personal computer production from supplies B, 
C, and D. As you can see, the supplier of the agentic AIs understand the complicated requirements such as delivery times, cost, and even CO2 emissions. And they start to negotiate with their suppliers. Each supplier's AI agent reviews the different options and make recommendations that maximize their own profit. Individual energetic AI can negotiate even when there are conflicts of interest between the different parties. Finally, the purchaser's agentic AI selects supply C, in this case, as the best option. In all cases, people define negotiation policies and priorities for each agentic AI. Then, agentic AI can automatically carry out economic activities based on those policies and priorities. Agentic AI will not only work in the cyber world, and they will also play significant roles in the physical world. Consider drone traffic management. Today, flight plans for drones, especially in Japan, are managed manually. But in the future, with thousands of drones, it will be almost impossible for people to manage that coordination. In a POC in Japan, using a NEC's automatic negotiation AI, Individual drones with different objectives coordinate with each other to ensure safe operation. This technology could also be used to operate automated vehicles in the future. In the new AI era, agentic AI will communicate with each other and with people to create economic value. In this world, we will need to redesign our networks to connect AI reliably and securely. To take full advantage of agentic AI, we, we need a new network requirements, adaptive and autonomous communication, certification of AI agentic AIs, and a transaction and negotiation among AIs based on requirements in, in each industry. Let's start with communication functionality. In order for AI to act autonomously in the physical world, more sophisticated network control is needed. In some physical world applications, such as drones or mobility, random and unpredictable things sometimes happen. Control based on future prediction, such as predicting half a second ahead, will be very important. The operation and management of communication systems will need to be optimized automatically. And automation should include real-time bandwidth sharing to use bandwidth effectively. And you see the automatic negotiation AI can be used for this. Secondly, agentic AI, because it is digital, can be easily replicated. So think about there will be a risk that malicious agentic AI could easily spread. People could accidentally interact with malicious agentic AI. This is a huge security threat. Then, to address these challenges, it is necessary to design, develop AI certification technology and establish a system of certificate in our network. Finally, in the application layer, agentic AI will require different algorithms for transaction based on different objectives, such as procurement negotiation, like a subscribe chain, or automated mobility. Practice differ from industry to industry, and there will be a need for industry-specific guidelines and rules. In order to redesign networks, we need multiple perspectives, including not only telecom operators, but also application developers and service providers. And we look forward to bringing our expertise in AI, communications, and the other cutting edge technology to this type of discussion. To accelerate innovation in this field, NEC is leading a various initiatives, such as launching a public competitions and consortiums. Our work has been recognized by the Scientific Council of Japan as a part of the Future Academic Advancement Initiative. The council is supported by the Japanese government and uh, represents the Japanese science community around the world. So lastly, I'd like to raise the issue of the role of people in the age where we coexist with AI. 
to address this question, I would like to suggest a concept that comes from Japan 400 years ago. Uh, the concept is called Sampo Yoshi. Uh, Sampo means uh, three directions, and Yoshi means uh, good. So this word, Sampo Yoshi, means that uh, good business benefits the seller and the buyer and also society. This idea is widely adopted as a business policy in Japan and in NEC. In the future, where people and the AI coexist, this idea will continue to be more important. And people's role will be to ensure that the agentic AI always consider the society perspective along with the business objectives like profit. Currently, the way to deal with AI risk, such as deep fakes, hallucination, is just to regulate AI's behavior. But however, regulation alone cannot cover every situation. We need to build a more fundamental trust mechanism within agent AI. What we propose is that the people set some concept as a foundation for the behavior of agent AI and allow agent AI to freely create economic value based on that foundation. Then we will see new kind of the economic value consecutively emerge as long as we ensure that the AI is always helping society. The spirit of Sampo Yoshi is aligned with our energy purposes. We believe that the technology enables a more sustainable world and provides the opportunity for everyone to reach their full potential. With this purpose in mind, we are committed to working with industry leaders and stakeholders as we enter this new AI era. That's all my presentation. Thank you.